All right, I'm reviewing a bunch of different uh, raw editing programs for Linux. And so right now I'm going to show Darkroom, uh, obviously a play on Lightroom. We'll see if it compares. So I'll go ahead and go to Open Directory and uh, I'll select, I've got a directory with a bunch of raw files and so I will go to it and I press OK and it does nothing yeah I don't know what it's supposed to do I would think it would maybe show thumbnails but it does not that I'm not too impressed with uh, so let's just I, I don't really remember which files I've got I'll just pick one on random and see what we get Alright, so we've got a picture here. It's zoomed in quite a bit, so we'll go ahead and zoom out. Alright, now we've got this. Um, let's start editing. So white balance will go to automatic and voila. Changes. No, does not change. We'll go to custom and uh, maybe try to change that. And uh, yes, it does change. Takes a while, but uh, as definitely one thing I've noticed with Darkroom is to make any change takes quite a bit of time. And you kind of have to be patient. And uh, I really want to go back to where I was. Uh, that looks more difficult than I'd care to endeavor so we're going to move on to light and I'll bump up the exposure and wait and wait ah there we go mm. it's looking a bit better but again it's taking a long time um, and you can do a few things with color then you got some file format options how big you want the file uh, and we, we've got a curve here for lightness. You can go ahead and edit that and then wait for it to change, and it does. Um, really, as it is right now, I am not at all impressed with Darkroom. Uh, it takes too long to see the changes you make. Uh, it doesn't offer a lot of options. A lot of things don't seem to make sense, so... I would, for now, unless Darkroom gets better, I don't see any reason to use it in RAW in Linux because there's other options that are quite a bit better.